Hi everyone, it's me Emily. I'm in my house today because I'm going to be touring Froggy Crossing's Dream Address Island for her kid core island which is called Leapfrog. I'm really excited to do this, I've got it all set up already and I think this is going to give me some inspiration as I come to finish my island. It's, yeah, it just should be good, I think it's going to be inspiring. I'm very nearly done with my own kid core island and so I think it will be fun just to get a little bit more inspiration and maybe see what she's done. Plus, I just really like Foggy Crossing's videos, so I wanted to come and have a look at one of her islands. So Luna is here. Now I think it should already be set up for me to go. Okay, so I'm now being taken to the island. I'll go ahead and put the dream address in the description box for this video. You, um, just to note, you do have to have Nintendo online. I've just paid to have it for um, the next month so that I could do this tour and then if I finish my island within this month then I can upload the dream address for my own island. Um, but yeah, if you want to do a dream address then you will have to have Nintendo online unfortunately but I think um, as far as I can tell like most people do have Nintendo online so hopefully you can come and tour it. And here we are in the frog. This is so exciting. Um, yeah, let's take a look. I'm in a little sleepy outfit, as you can see. And immediately from the resident services, his stitches. There's so much colour, it's really cute. Uh, very bright and colourful. I haven't um, like planned a route or anything, I'm just going to kind of see where I end up. But she does have, Foggy Crossing does have a tour of her island if you feel like you would want to watch it maybe and then you can follow the route that she takes. But I'm just going to explore because I think that can be fun. And um, what have we got? Oops. We've been given some items. We get the frog hat. Then there's a ladder and a vaulting pile, which I'm guessing we'll need to explore. And the really cute little froggy umbrella. I might put back on um, my hat. There we go. So here's the airport. I'm going to go left. And we've got a beach here. So cute. Ooh. I really like um, this sporting area on the beach and then this is cute, the volleyballs and all of these volleyballs in the basket. This house, it's kind of like a PE teacher's house so that's cool. And um, more on the beach. So nice, I love seeing how people use all of the different design codes. I think that's, that's probably one of my favourite bits about touring islands is just seeing which codes they've chosen to use and it's so fun because I have my own Kiko Island I really like seeing how she's kind of done the same thing but I feel like our islands look quite different very cool she has really unique items as well like I don't think I've ever seen this blue thing here I don't even know what it is but that's cool this red thing as well really interesting um, if I do miss anywhere, uh, I'm really sorry. I'm going to try and show everything and look and explore, but sometimes it's hard to make sure you include absolutely everything. Let's finish this beach first, then I'll come back and explore further. The picnic code is so cute. A very good idea for a beach as well. I feel like beaches are probably one of the hardest places to decorate, and she's done a really good job in terms of, like, the beaches are really interesting to look at and she has filled them up. I think I missed an area back here. Why don't we... We'll finish this part, this upwards bit here, and then I'll head back. Oh, what is this? It's a restaurant, some kind of a diner. Wow. This must be Ketchup's house. Oh, let me show you the map, actually. So, wow. I completely forgot she did this. I do watch her videos, but it's been a while since she made this frog. She turned her whole island into a frog, which is, like, I, that's just so incredible. That must have been such hard work. 
It's really cute though, I like it. And villagers, she has ketchup, Henry, Gail, Bob, Stitches, Tangy, Cousteau, Jeremiah, Petrie, and Scoot. So, so cute. Wow, her island looks amazing um, on the map. It's really impressive. And it looks quite natural, like walking past these rivers. I feel like you can't really tell what's going on. Like it, it doesn't look forced. It just looks natural and very, very clever. Wow, so much to see and do. This boat item is so cool. Wow, I like that. That's really nice. Okay, so maybe we should jump across here and see what's up this cliff. Yeah, let's go up here now. We have a house here. This must be Gail's. And she has, oh my goodness, a super pink restaurant. Very bright, very colourful. This egg coat she has is so cute, this egg flower. Why don't we come around to the back and then see what's here. This is her shopping district. Okay, so we have Nook's Cranny and then the Able Sisters. And these designs she has here are so cool. I really like those outfits, those are awesome. Okay, let me head back on down here if I can, yes. So then, kind of to the right of Gales, oh I can't see where I'm going. Okay, to the right of Gales we have a, what would you call this, a vegetable patch? Um, yeah, just a vegetable patch. Some hybrid flowers there, she had some the blue rose and the green mum, those are really hard to make. And then the veggies, really cute. And then if we come back along this path, oh I like the bubble machine, that's so fun. <laughs> this is so exciting. What's through here? Okay, this is another cafe. I feel like cafes is something that she's maybe made for lots of her villagers, which is so nice. Because it's like you have options. You have, do you want to go to Ketchup's Pizza Cafe? Do you want to come to Tangy's Orange Juice? Or she had Gail's Pink Diner. I feel like that's really clever. And a little frog pond. Oh my goodness. This is so fun. I really like that. Wow. This is so, so, so fun. Oh my goodness. I need to think of some other words to say because I'm just calling everything fun and cute. But here's her museum. This is awesome. Ooh, this food truck. That looks so good with the um, egg on it. That looks awesome. And her museum entrance is so colorful and she's got the school bus. I like how she's done that, that looks really good. And then a playground, a kick or staple, you just, you have to have a playground, it's so fun and cute. Let me head back this way. I'm just being careful to try not to miss any area too much, but if I have at the end I'll just take another look at the map and probably head back. So now, oh we should look at her island flag by the way, I think she drew these herself right? Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But I really like it, that's a cute design. And then, to the right she has the laundromat. This is awesome, it's so blue, it's so colourful. I have a laundromat on my island as well and it was inspired by this, so it's fun to actually see the inspiration because I feel like she just did such a good job and it looks really incredible. And the waiting area with the arcade machines. Very cute. If we come back, she has a land bridge going towards her house. And she has a yard sale. We don't really have these in England, but we do have car boot sales. So I'm guessing it's the same thing, but instead of taking your car, you just do it like at someone's house. Um, but yeah, this is cool. I really like... Um, just how bright everything is. She really chose a lot of neon colours which um, just looks so good. 
especially she filmed her like dodo address on such a nice day because the sun is out the grass is super green so i feel like it just all looks so gorgeous whoa this is fun okay this is um a sport not a sports shop a toy store a toy, sh a toy store i think yeah i keep forgetting what the words for everything is yeah this is a toy store really fun it's just so bright i really like it and up here we have okay this is the orchard another picnic so sweet and this orchard is really nice i like how it's been divided out into rows and you have all the trees here but then she's still included lots of fun items like this ball and the haystack it just looks really good wow and then behind from the orchard we come into a race car section and then back here this is her school very cute i like how she's put these little frog snacks on the chairs that looks fun and do i go down here i wonder um okay let's go back and then we'll come down through the center i think it actually looks really nice with the rocks kind of near the orchard like the rocks haven't been in awkward positions at all which i feel like sometimes it's hard because if they land in a hard in like a bad position they can look a bit awkward but she's managed to keep them looking natural which is good and then down through the center okay we're back to the play park that makes sense I'm just wondering what is around here. Um, shall I see if I can maybe just jump across? Where's the vaulting pool? Okay, awesome. Ah, this is her train station. This looks really cool with the yellow bricks and then she's got the train coming. Wow, that's nice. The actual train, that looks cool. Another bubble machine. I think that's one of my favourite details. I really like how she's done that. It just looks good. Can I get through? Um, I don't think I can actually get through to the beach from here. That's okay. Here we've got a gorgeous flower garden. So pretty. She did so many hybrids. It just looks awesome. Let's take a look at this beach. Again, she's got such cool items. I feel like I just don't see this one ever. I don't even know what it is, but it's cool. And then some clothes shopping on the beach. That's fun. It reminds me of um, like souvenir shops when you go to the beach. That's cool. And then we have a plant section with this gorgeous, gorgeous um, yellow flowers here. So nice. Oh, I like these rocks. I don't have any rocks like this on my island. Like the big ones, these are pretty good. Wow, I do you know, I feel like I'm so impressed with her beaches. Just in terms of how colourful she's managed to make them. They don't look like separate sections, they look, um, I don't know, they just look like natural. And here is Raven's character, the very one. How many karaoke snacks? Ah, I guess you can try and count them. Ah, that's so cute. Hi. Her pier looking nice. And this, I love this build she did. It's a water slide, um, like a water resort park. And she put the elephant slides to be coming down into the water. She's got this ladybug umbrella. It just looks very bright and vibrant and just enticing and like if you could actually slide down into the water it would be so fun and here is the post office that's really cool i really like this frog um she has like the post office frog sign it looks really good yeah i'm just impressed with the beaches like they don't 
sometimes I feel like beaches, it's really hard to do, or at least I struggle with making them not look completely separate, whereas I feel like her beaches just tie in with the whole rest of the island really nicely. Coming down past the post office. This must have been so much work for her when she got post. Wow. Very dedicated. Um, okay. Here is a petrol station. That's fun. I like that. Okay, we're back near the beginning. I feel like I definitely can't have seen everything just yet. Let's take a look at the map. I just don't want to miss anything. So, I saw Ketchup's house. Um, I think I saw Henry's. Yep, I have saw Stitches. I think. Uh, I think I saw Tangy's. I saw Petrie's, Jeremiah's, Scoot. Okay, what I might do is just pause the video. I'm going to go on a run around the island, make sure if I've missed anything. Oh, I haven't seen her campsite. Okay, why don't we try and head towards her campsite? Sorry if this is kind of disorganised, but I feel like that's like the magic of dream addresses is that you don't know where you're going because obviously just like on my island, I know exactly where everything is, but if you were coming in fresh, you wouldn't know where you were going. See, look, I missed this whole bit. We've got another juice section back here. I like seeing just kind of the openness that she's done in the back of the island, because normally, um, like, there's lots of cliffs at the back of the island where she's kept it very open, so you can actually see these rock formations and stuff, which normally just get hidden behind the cliffs. It looks good. And here is the campsite. I really like how many trees she's put. Oh, I got a bell. Um, you don't get to keep anything from Dream Addresses, by the way. If people are, like, I don't know. I feel like people know that, but I just don't want anyone to think like, oh, they're gonna come here so that they can pick up all the fruit or something. Like, um, you don't get that. But yeah, the I, I love how many trees she's put and stuff. It just looks so cool. And we have a cannon here. I wonder if this is um, Red's entrance. I guess so. So she's got a cannon firing at Red. That's funny. Yeah, let me pause the video here then. I'll just go check if there's anywhere else I've missed. And if there is, I'll bring you back in to see it. So I didn't show this. Um, she's got a skate ramp here which is cool i really like how she's done it with the two inclines coming together it just looks like this is a very unique build with the inclines forming this skate ramp wow i like that that looks cool and it's outside someone's house as well and then oh we've got i didn't see this one i saw ketchups she's actually got a whole little tomato garden at the back and there's a waterfall over here. The terraforming on this island is just so good and so impressive. Okay, I'll just keep searching. Okay guys, so I've been back around the island. I don't think that there is anywhere else that I've missed. Um, so hopefully that's all good. I have enjoyed touring this island so much, I think. I'm sure most of you already know Foggy Crossing, but if you don't, definitely go and have a look at her channel. You can see the whole process of this island being made. It's all available over there. She also has, right now I've been watching a 30 day challenge which she's doing currently. And she does these really hard challenges. So she did one which was 30 days without Nintendo Online. So she couldn't trade for any items. She couldn't use custom designs. And right now she's doing 30 days without using any items at all. So anything that has the green leaf icon she can't use so she's just having to use flowers and trees and like food and stuff and that is such an interesting watch so just definitely make sure to go check out her channel and you can definitely visit this island if you're interested because i think it just looks so good and yeah i feel very inspired i've had a very fun time over here on the island and with that let me just thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye